Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. Thank you for all the comments on my last vlog with the camera pickup. Hilarious, all that preparation, <laughs> all that anticipation when I saw that the carcass had, uh, had gone missing, had disappeared, thinking I was gonna get some fantastic footage. If you haven't seen that vlog, it's my last vlog. Now, in this vlog, I'm starting it off with a camera pickup because I put my other camera out way down, way down there. Uh, yep, I think just about up there. So I'm going right down the valley and over the other side and we're gonna pick up one of my other cameras. And that's been there for about a month. So hopefully we'll get some good footage from that. It's gonna be quite a hike this evening down to where I uh, put the trail camera. You might be detecting a little bit of a change in my videos lately. And uh, yeah, where's the wild camping gone? The camping season is just about returning. Haven't mentioned wild camping for a while. Well, I won't be doing much of it. <laughs> I've done that. And uh, really my channel, if you look back, was mainly about me wandering around and hiking. But the wild camping sort of, it turned my head, didn't it? I saw the wild camping, I saw you guys doing it, and I thought, I'm gonna have a go at that. And, uh, and I did, and I really enjoyed it. But uh, I don't think I'll be doing much of it again. So emphasis on not doing much wild camping again. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it and I've learned so much. And I still thank you for all the uh, support and the advice along the way. Now, um, I'll continue hiking. I will be using the wild camping experience though for catching animals like early in the morning. I might have to camp out overnight if I spot somewhere where there's plenty of activity or the particular animal that I am wanting to capture. Um, usually early in the morning is a good time and evening so I might be doing some stopovers and the wild camping uh, experience will definitely stand me in good stead then. Look at this view. Let's get the old man out of the shot. Beautiful. Hiya, how are you doing? Hey, up, Rob. So I'm right at the bottom of the valley now and uh, the camera is over that way and I'm going to take you just up there first of all uh, to the other side of the valley because there's the ruin of a farmhouse and it might be just worth a little look around. So an interesting little place, this uh, derelict barn, very old. And it is in the middle of nowhere, look. The fields down there, there is a farm, as you can see, just over the valley there, and I passed through that on the way down here. 
I believe that this uh, old barn belongs to the farm up that way. There is another farm. And um, there was a report that uh, it was used for drug runners recently. Um, the police turned up. The farmer across the way was telling me that uh, one morning he woke up and it was surrounded by police uh, because there's a, there's a bit of a, a cellar in here. And um, you can see the sign saying private keep out. It's very unsafe. So uh, definitely stay out. But there is a cellar and apparently drugs were being dropped off in that cellar and then picked up and moved on. So it's got a little bit of a history. Okay, let's leave the barn behind and go and get this trail camera. Yes, the camera is still here. Always a good feeling when you see the camera. One of these days, I'm sure, it's gonna have disappeared. So I'm gonna take the camera down now and leave you with the footage, if any. And uh, I thank you for joining me on this vlog. If you hadn't been with me, I'd have been all by myself. If you've enjoyed this vlog, consider subscribing. I do upload vlogs at least once a month. So I don't know where I'll be next time, but I'll be doing something very similar out and about trying to get some wildlife, some photography, some video, and uh, with the trail cam as well. So uh, until the next one, bye.